<clears throat> well, he was famous enough in the house anyway. And he was also a great MC of fiddler's rallies and things like that. And also the other fiddler's rallies that would have maybe the Reverend James Curry being the MC, things like that, I would go along to. And big singers they would have there like Alistair Gillis and uh, folk like that. And the West of Scotland can really host a Kelly and wonderful players as well. And there was always a Kelly after a fiddler's rally because you had all these fiddlers and my father would stand up and say things like McAllister and, um, you know, do all these and do very funny stories. And he was quite quietly spoken. And I remember him telling something and I was sitting in the audience feeling for him. I thought, oh, dad, keep them, keep them interested. We can hardly hear this, but we can hear it. But, and, I, and I was feeling for my dad and he pressed on. And he came to the punchline and brought the whole house down. There must have been about maybe 2,000 people in the audience, you know, things like that. Absolutely incredible. The cause of the Chieftains do a great version of I Know My Love. Yes, absolutely. So have I been to Cayley? I have emceed more Cayleys than I could shake a stick at. You know, fantastic. And done all my stuff. Uh, Scotty, up to 750,000 UK COVID test kits have been recalled due to safety concerns. I know, Karim, they're rushing stuff through and there's pressure from people um, hoping to maybe get a share of the dosh. You know, I'm not saying they're con artists or anything. I'm just saying they're hoping to get a share of the dosh. And in their desperation, the government needs to sit and take stock and say, who knows what they're doing here and who doesn't? None of us know very much about COVID-19, but we're learning. None of us know very much about coronavirus, but we're learning. We should have locked down about two weeks to a month earlier. Yes, we understand that now, we acknowledge it. And this is where I really take my bonnet off to the Scottish government and to the First Minister who have been straight with the public and said, there's things that we are all trying to understand, you know, rather than go on like some other leaders and just bluster and then leave you thinking, well, I don't know what that was about. I didn't understand a word of it, you know? So it's a question of going on and saying, here's what we know. And I was reading an article today about how COVID has brought America to its knees and that it's not really being helped by the way it's being managed. That's all I'll say about that, you know? So there we go. Hello, Scotty from Nottingham. Dougal Doug, lovely to have you with us from Nottingham. Please share this with everybody else in the Midlands. Guys, you've just reminded me, more sharing. Fantastic. See if we can get these figures up tonight. Partly there's a chippy cafe that has the owner singing opera while he's at the fryer. Oh, Grobler, yes. Well, very often if somebody was brought up in Italy, um, they understand singing technique. Italian people in general are very, very creative and artistic. I mean, that's a sweeping generalization, but they just have a great feel for the arts, you know? And uh, it's just the way it was all brought up and opera, what have you. Um, so there we are. I liked the crankies, Janet and Ian. The Archie, the last time I... I saw them, they were very, very funny in Cinderella at the Hydro, you know, with them, um, with uh, who else was involved in that now? Oh, yes, Big John. Big John was involved in it as well. Fantastic. Yes. And uh, the Crankies were the stars on there. Very, very funny. I'm on my antibiotics, Scotty. The Nazis are beautiful. I love the NHS. 
Say no to private NHS. My treatment would cost me like £42,000 every two weeks. 